In today's video, we're going to be looking at and testing this new 200 watt flexible solar panel from Renogy. This is an upgraded solar panel from the older 175 watt flexible solar panel, which the new one now utilizes nine bus bars inside the solar cells versus the older panel was only five bus bars and one large cell. These new half cut cells will reduce intensity between each cell and will also help increase the efficiency and the output of the entire module. The older solar panel had transparent dots on it, which this would help refract the light and also increase solar conversion. The new solar panel has the same transparent dots, but it's definitely not as pronounced as the older one. Utilizing PERC solar cells, this additional layer adds more sunlight to be captured and turned into electricity, making PERC solar cells more efficient than traditional cells. The new flexible solar panel also utilizes the same high-grade half-cut cells as the rigid panel, which this lowers risks of micro cracks, also has a better consistent working temperature, resists hot spotting better, and has a better performance when shaded conditions occur, and also has the same warranty as the rigid 200 watt panel. Other changes have been made as well as far as going from two junction boxes to a single, which both of the junction box and the connectors are IP67 rated with a potted material in there to keep them fully waterproof for extended outdoor use. We'll take a look at the specs of the old panel and the new panel just to see how they compare. As we look at the open circuit voltage, it's exactly the same, but our operating voltage is just slightly higher on the new panel. As we look at our amperage, it's 1.4 amps higher, and this also weighs four pounds more than the older panel, but 16 pounds lighter than the 200 watt rigid. The new panel is also three times as thick as the older 175 watt panel. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of testing on these and got some crazy birds going on, but uh, we're gonna use this Bouge RV 200 watt panel, and then we'll compare it to the other two panels just to kind of see as a reference how well it does. Now the conditions today, it's pretty cold outside. So if we look, um, it's probably about 50 degrees out right now. Maybe it might be just under that. And then as we go on the concrete right here, these are 52. And then we hit the Bouge RV panel right about 74 degrees. Then we'll hit the 200 watt new Renogy. That one is 85 degrees. Then we'll hit the old older 175, just a little bit warmer at 91. I put all three of these panels out here almost at the same time, however long it took me to set them up. So they're, they've been out here for about 35 minutes now, roughly. And we'll do a little bit of testing as far as how many volts we're gonna get out of each one of them. And then we'll plug it into that new EcoFlow River 2 Pro, just to kind of see how much uh, power we get out of them on the, while they are actually under a load. Now just taking a quick look at these, you can see the rigid panel obviously that one's nice and straight while the other two because they are on the cardboard boxes and they are just slightly curved they're a little bit kind of concaved in i guess versus maybe a convex shape where they would be pushing out so they are just kind of bowed in slightly um kind of concaved in there so that might affect them a little bit well we'll see how they do now ideally you would want this to be about a thousand meters square of light coming through but you would see the angle I would have to have these at. And whenever your solar panels might be on a roof or if you're gonna use these on an RV or a boat or something like that, you don't always have ideal conditions. That's why when they say STC or standard testing conditions, that's not really real world. So I'm just gonna kind of throw these out here and we'll test them and see how well they do under conditions like this. Like if these were on top of my RV now, what would we kind of be getting right now with the sun low in the sky? Now these are my conditions. I have just a slight haze, but I do have some high clouds moving in soon. So that's why I'm testing now before the next storm comes in. Okay, so the Bouge RV panel at first, right at about 23 volts. I expect this one to do the best just because it is a rigid glass panel, but we'll see how well these ones do over here. Okay, new 200 watt Renogy with the new half cut cells and check that out. A Little bit higher on our open circuit voltage test. So that's cool. That's actually a pretty good indication that this should perform pretty well. At least that's what we're hoping anyway. So let's just check this one just for reference. And the older style 175. Look at that, coming in right at 24.4.3. I'm assuming they'll go down a little bit as they get hotter. Let's go check the other bouge real quick. 
Okay, Bougier V one more time. Coming in 22.4, so just a little lower than the other two. That's kind of surprising. Okay, I'm gonna try to move along pretty quick here, but as you can see, now we have a load plugged into it. We're getting about 97 watts, 17 volts, 5.6 amps. And as we look at our EcoFlow charging station, 97 watts coming in. And remember, I the conditions right now are not ideal. So we're not gonna get max performance out of these at all, but I'm gonna quickly move along. That way conditions don't change too much. Okay, new 200 watt. Now that this has been sitting for a second or two, get that focus. So right at about 19 volts, a little bit less amps, 95 watts. So just a little bit less right here. And as we go over here to the power station, about 91, 90. So about six, seven less, about six, yeah, six or seven less watts than the Bougier V Rigid. So that's actually not too bad. I was thinking it was going to be a little lower. Okay, the old 175 style Renogy panel, right at okay, 19 volts, 85 watts here, 4.4 amps, and as we look at the power station, we are right about 10 less than the 200, right on there, so 200 gives you about 10 more watts, uh, just under these conditions at the moment, so... Overall, not too bad. Okay, so I decided to do one more test since the weather's holding up for me, which I totally appreciate. Um, it's been about, oh, an hour and a half, almost two hours, so we should get some better numbers out of this. So we'll take a look one more time, and then uh, we'll close up. Okay, so now with the Bougier V again, taking a look down here, we are getting right about 16 volts, and... 116 watts now, but look at our amperage, pretty high, right? Okay, and 116 there, and 116, 117 there. Okay, second test on the newer Renogy Flex panel, and now check it out. So, 18, 19 volts, 114, 113 watts roughly, 6 amps, so a little bit more voltage, slightly less on the amps. And as we come over here, look at that. Only two watts less than the rigid panel. So that's actually doing really good. I mean, we're really close and it only took me about less than a minute to swap. So overall, this is performing really good for a flexible panel. I, I, I like the fact that, um, you know, the flexible panels are just getting a lot better. But I did want to show you guys something that with these new flexible solar panels, that the new flexible solar panels are also using the same kind of technology that residential panels have. These are big 400 watt solar panels that also are using a half cut cell and using nine bus bars as well. If you guys are also interested in any of the end phase battery stuff, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to learn more about battery backup systems like this versus some of the, you know, more portable stuff that I've been showing on my channel. Okay, well, I actually like these panels enough to where I think I'm gonna install a bunch of these on my roof of the RV. I contacted Renogy about getting about, oh, maybe eight to 10 of these. We'll see how well they fit here after I kind of do some test fitting. I made a couple marks already. Um, I was gonna do rigid, but I really hate drilling stuff and adding unnecessary weight to the top of the RV and just, it becomes a maintenance item. So let me know what you guys think about these new 200 watt uh, half cut cell solar panels down in the comments below. And I hope you guys like the video and I hope to see you next time.